Okay, in Uttar Pradesh, India, a man sacrifices his two-year-old daughter based on Tantric's advice. So oh, this good. is hands down the worst thing I heard all week. Um, a father on the advice of a tantric killed his two-year-old daughter by strangling her and then slitting her throat. Uh, he was turned in by, to the police by the wife to the Karali police station and both the tantric and the father were arrested. The reason for the murder was that the tantric suggested that the sacrifice of the child would bring peace to the family and that the father then stated that it was because the daughter reminded him of a past girlfriend. Um, the yeah. father was not being cons consistent with what he was saying. Yeah, he switched up his story several times. Okay, so how? What is this? What is this belief system? Okay, so first, first of all, tantric or uh, tantra. This practice is traditionally in Hinduism and Buddhism. And from these two religions, it has spread to Jainism, Taoism, and Shintoism. However, in this case, this man and the Tantric, I mean, I'm just going by the names. They were both Muslims because they both had Muslim names. So how, how why do Muslims practice this? I, I have no idea because it is like rooted in Hinduism and Buddhism. Mm. But it is, it is harmful. Tantra is harmful. It it involves sacrifices and meaningless stuff. It is basically kind of like black magic. So. You know, some Hindu uh, Hindus or Hindu apologists on Facebook are actually pointing out that the man was a Muslim, and the tantric was also a Muslim, and people and another person or either Hindu or Hindu apologist is saying, but Atheist Republic doesn't mention anywhere in the post that. Is it was it happened? It was it was happened by Hindu wake up friend. Oh, actually, this guy is defending us. So he's saying like you you're saying it's a Muslim, but we didn't say it was done by a Hindu. So oh, thank you for defending us. I, I thought this guy was on the other side. Uh, so yeah, the, we. The, but but here's the thing though. I actually, even though this guy was Muslim and the tantric was Muslim, I don't know if they're Muslim because they're saying okay, it was we, Muslim. We are just saying let me Muslim let me finish. Of... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but you don't shut up. Let me finish my sentence. So, be because people are judging the fact that they're Muslim based on their name, okay? We don't know a lot of people with Muslim sounding names convert, or maybe their parents were Muslim and they're not Muslim. But it's the chances of them being Muslim is high in india if they have muslim sounding names okay it's higher okay so but let's assume they're muslim okay e even if they're muslim even if they were both muslim both the father and the tantric the thing that caused the sacrifice of the child was influenced by a hindu slash buddhist ideology okay so even if they are muslim Again, a lot of people that don't know us think we're now we're Islam apologists. Islam does a lot more shit than Hinduism, okay? Islam is responsible for a lot more crimes than Hinduism, okay? And we call out Islam all the time when they're responsible for things. Islam is the most barbaric, violent, living religion, okay? But when we, but let's be accurate here. Here, even if they were both Muslim, this is a Hindu idea that influenced them so you know so the source of influence of this crime was not islam it was Hindu hinduism slash buddhism how do you just how do you describe it yeah it is based on i mean buddhism was just like uh, branched out from hinduism right. originally so they just took this idea from hinduism this idea is like way old it is like the first million uh, the first few centuries of this part of like ce that is way old. Also, I don't know. I mean, it could be that those people just converted because I know there are Muslims in India who just leave Islam and convert to Hinduism or just hate, just become atheists. Aaron is saying even if they were Muslim, Tantra is basically a Hindu sect practice. Yep. Um, okay. Not... I, want, I mean, I wanted to mention something. I mean, it is because everyone, these Hindu apologists in the comments, Facebook comments, they know it, the practices in Hinduism and Buddhism. And that's why, without anything, they just come and say, oh, but this was a Muslim. 
I mean, if they didn't know that this practice was in Hindu, they wouldn't have said this was right. Hindu. Actually, that's a very good point because we didn't even mention Hinduism. We mentioned that this is tantric. We mentioned tantra. Tantra, yeah, this is a tantric advice. Hindus are getting a uh, Hindus are getting uh, defensive. Like, why are you getting defensive if this we're just mentioning tantric? <laughs> yes, you guys. So you guys are admitting that this has something to do with Hindus. <laughs> Genius, good, good observation, um, Shapab. Um, okay, so but so Stallone is mentioning in Facebook that Muhammad name wasn't a Muslim name; it's an Arabic name. That is true. However, non-Arabs who name their children Arab names are usually Muslim. Okay, so for example, in Iran, um, you could tell by the name of people if not if they're religious. But if their parents are religious, right? So if you are named Muhammad, Amir, uh, Iman, um, any of the Arabic names, it doesn't say anything about your views, but your parents are probably more more on the religious side. But if your name is Arash, Armin, um, Arshia, um, you know, Kave. These are per like traditional Persian name, and your parents are probably more on the anti-religious or less religious side. Okay, so again, it's a, it's not an inherent like in if you're Arab, then if you have an Arabic name, I can't tell anything because you obviously have an Arabic name because you're you're. But most Muslims are not Arab. Only twenty percent of Muslims are Arab. But yet many Muslims have Arabic names because they're just being Muslim. Okay, so it's technically not a Muslim name, but if you use Arabic names, even though you're not Arab, it's likely that you either you are Muslim or it's likely that your parents are Muslim and your parents being Muslim does make it likely that you're Muslim as well. This is just pro like it does. It's not nothing is none of this is certain. It's just a pro you know probability argument. Uh, we're not assuming things if we're saying it's make it more likely you're only assuming if you're saying oh you must be muslim because of this no we're saying it's likely that you're muslim um okay so oh actually do we have a muhammad <laughs> this is great on facebook we have a muhammad they saying i am muhammad and i'm an atheist yes but are you an arab muhammad or are you a non-arab muhammad all right but let's um go to News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Aces Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our video. So